you the power of God I, I don't know but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels I just saw an anointing rest on you this role in the name of Jesus I don't know where you are but I pray may that grace now let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension in the name of Jesus Christ welcome to Christocentric message on this channel you are going to get soul lifting messages faith based content prayer drills and videos that would help you grow spiritually remember to subscribe to the channel like the video you are about to watch and comment on it stay blessed praise the name of the lord i i want to use this opportunity to really truly appreciate pastor emmanuel thank you thank you and your dear wife i sincerely appreciate you for this time please let's honor them let's celebrate them thank you hallelujah and then i want us to in the same vein even though our fathers and our senior pastors have been recognized but i'd like us to please stand one more time and just honor the fathers we honor you sirs the pastors in the name of jesus christ amen it is please let's have some silence so that we are able to hear the word of the lord praise the name of the lord do you believe in prayer can we just lift our hands and our voices to heaven and ask the lord to visit us tonight the bible says they go from strength to strength as many as appear before the lord in zion go ahead and pray you are my hiding place you always fill my heart with songs of deliverance whenever i am afraid i will trust in you i will trust in you let the weak say i am strong in the strength of the lord father we're gathered tonight as proof that we trust you we're gathered tonight as proof that we love you we're gathered tonight as proof that we believe in you lord i pray that in this conference you will visit us tonight in a mighty way let the sick be healed oh god let the oppressed be delivered oh god may your fire fall in this place and i pray in the name that is above all names that as the word of god comes our ears our eyes and our hearts are open to receive Amen. jesus we declare that you be glorified tonight for in jesus name i pray Amen. god bless you and please be seated by the way is it all right if i just use a few seconds to really bless and wish pastor emmanuel a very very happy birthday let's honor him thank you amen we love you we honor you and we celebrate what god has done and is doing and our prayer as the body of christ is that you will go from glory to glory in the name of jesus christ god bless you sir thank you amen while i was praying for this meeting 
this morning i had a very interesting vision and In that vision I saw it was like Ezekiel 37 and I was given a picture of what was happening whilst Ezekiel you know his encounter bones began to come to bones and one of the things that the Lord spoke to me from that vision in this meeting is that this night many many people will be stepping into strange restorations please i want you to believe it believe it with all your heart that there are things that have left you for some of you decades by the power that raised jesus christ from the dead that god is bringing them again to your life joel chapter 22 please let's get to the word i'd like you to be sensitive the sensitive sing hallelujah sing just help those under the anointing please sing hallelujah to the lord i'm just seeing the smoke of his presence across this place sing hallelujah sing hallelujah sing Hallelujah. Sing Christ is reason. Sing Christ is reason. Sing Christ is reason from the dead. Spirit of the living God. We pray that whilst the word comes, move in our midst and let it truly be that this was a night of encounter in the name of Jesus. Joel chapter 2 from verse 25. Joel chapter 2 from verse 25. And I will restore to you the years that the locust had eaten, the canker worm, the caterpillar, the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty, and shall be satisfied, and shall praise the name of the Lord your God that had dealt wondrously with you. The last statement says, and my people shall never, shall never. Let me use this opportunity to speak that everything that followed you here, representing shame and representing reproach. I stand upon this altar in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. May shame and reproach be rolled away forever. May shame and reproach be rolled away forever. The Bible says, And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. That was his end. But at the beginning, the Bible says, Because the mother bore him in sorrow, she named him Jabez. But a time came, he was angry. He said, It's time for me to go forward. Oh, that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast again oh let me speak over someone it may be that there are limitations that have followed you for years in the name of jesus christ who is also the lifter of men i prophesy to you everything tying you down so that the only thing moving is your age nothing else is moving in your life i command let it be broken now be broken now be broken now, be broken now, be broken now, be broken now. When he called Lazarus out from the grave, he gave an instruction 
he said lose him and let him go let me speak to someone here whatever has tied you in the name that is above all names by the power that raised jesus christ from the dead i declare be loose now be loose now be loose now be loose now please sit down the bible the bible lets us know that in our walk with god please pay attention there are systems of advantage that can be introduced into the life of a believer that gives him an edge over life and over circumstances are we together now in the dealings of god with men and captured all through scripture from genesis to revelation we see that there were men who were under all kinds of circumstances but that somewhere along their lives a system of advantage was introduced into their lives and it began to change the narrative of their lives here's what the bible says for we know that all things work together for the good of them that love the lord and those who are the called according to his purposes why is it that all things can work for good because regardless the situation and the circumstance in god's economy he sustains the ability as the el shaddai to introduce what i call systems of advantage there is nobody's life that is in advantage by default are we together now yes the first of that system of advantage being salvation that when you come to the saving knowledge of jesus christ according to the authority of scripture the bible says that there is a translation from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of god's dear son then the bible lets us know that you become a partaker of god's life that is the first system of advantage that comes into your life john 10 10 the thief cometh not but for to steal to kill and to destroy the bible says it says but i am come that ye may have life and that you have that life more abundantly yeah. are we still together but then there are other systems of advantage that are spiritual arsenals that god had made and put in place for believers so that no matter and regardless what happens in your life by the introduction of these systems of advantage you eventually emerge victorious it is it is on the strength of these systems of advantage that we show the all-surpassing dominion power of the christ so that regardless my background regardless what it is that happened or did not happen in my life once i come to christ there is no such thing as too late because there are sufficient spiritual arsenals that can be introduced into the life of a believer to begin to correct even age-long anomalies are we together now an example of these systems of advantage is the mercy of god one of these systems of advantage is the favor of god one of these systems of advantage is speed and acceleration all these are provisions that were captured in the economy of god to the intent that when and if any man decides to walk with the lord and begins to grow through knowledge you can access these truths and then the reality of the divine life start speaking because you engage these things there are people for instance who come from backgrounds where they are saddled with all kinds of yokes and curses and by default these individuals become victims of life victims of situations and circumstances 
and even if they get born again there are still constraints that their lives constraints in their lives by reason of the advantage the devil had there has to be a way of correcting that anomaly are we together now there are people who by reason of activities of witchcraft did not have the privilege say to go to school early and to move forward early so already by default they are already retrogressed and delayed in life is there a way that God can help those people to catch up in destiny oh yes there is the name given to that mystery is called speed that God can take the 10 years that were wasted and transfer it into a man's future and make it happen in one day are we together now listen when we say we are victorious we're not just saying it because jesus died and resurrected just religiously we're saying it because we are aware of the spiritual arsenals that the death the burial and the resurrection of jesus has provided for the believer today it is on the strength of these truths that we make our boast in the lord are we together now yes so we know that we are victorious we know that in spite of what happened or did not happen a woman may be barren for five years ten years even 20 years if that woman gives birth to a child yet yeah, thank God for the child but time has gone if she's to give birth to four children one by one by one by one at what age will she be done giving birth so when God gives her quadruplets he did not just give a child he carried years and brought it in nine months are, are you seeing that now i'm saying this because tonight there is something that is about to happen to someone here in the name of jesus the son of the living god that the things that have 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 been um a, a disadvantage to your life we have come to introduce a system of advantage into your work that will begin to so change things that those who knew you will say is Saul when has Saul also become one of the prophets please sit down hallelujah are we together once upon a time Moses went to meet his half-brother Ramesses who had now become the pharaoh of egypt to advocate the exodus of god's people and they came out of egypt and he began to pursue them they stood before the red sea there was no provision to move forward again egyptians behind the sea in front by what architectural mechanism were they going to build a system of safety to cross over everybody says systems of advantage and in Exodus chapter 14, when you read from verse 13 and 14 and 15, Moses had a strange encounter with God. He said, fear not. Moses is speaking now, a visionary leader. He said, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he show you today. For these Egyptians whom ye have seen today, you shall see them no more forever. Listen, as at the time he was saying this, he did not even know the dynamics of how it will happen all he knew was that the lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace then verse 15 the lord said to moses wherefore criest thou to me he says speak unto the children of israel that they go forward hold on how do i go forward when i know that a sea can swallow anything i hope you know that it was not just that the sea parted the gap the land had to rise to their level to be able to walk because even if the sea parted it would still be a depth that they would not cross listen carefully just help those under the anointing now and then moses received that instruction and when he stretched forth his rod the Egyptians saw a dimension of God they had not seen among any of the gods of Egypt. The God who with the breath of his nostrils, he parted the sea like doors, hither and thither, and lifted land to their level on dry ground. When they crossed over, 
Pharaoh attempting to cross over was swallowed by the sea. Miriam was too grateful. She sang a song. She said, I will sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously. Even the horses and his riders have been thrown into the sea. One time they became hungry. Very hungry. And God said, I want to show you the systems that are available in this kingdom. Manna, not seeds for you to sow. There are times God can give you seed and wisdom to sow. But there are times the urgency requires bread. You don't have the time to start sowing and waiting for harvest. God can send both seed and he can give bread. He can give seed to the sower. But he also can give bread to the eater. It is true that God can give you a job and you can start saving for five, ten years. But there are times that God can give you the keys to a house in one day. It is the same God doing it. Please pay attention. Then they stand in front of Jericho. A fence so fortified, the Bible says five chariots could stand on it. Imagine a fence. That five chariots could stand on it even if it collapses it's still a fence again and Joshua was led to introduce another system of advantage the Bible says Jericho was shot nothing could come out of it nothing could enter it and they went round singing praises every day once and on the seventh day they went round and he said when you hear the sound of that trumpet that you lift up a shout and the Bible tells us that the walls of Jericho it did not just fall it sank the power of God and one of these systems of advantage tonight that the one Lord wants to introduce is called the mystery of restoration ha! the mystery of restoration please look up scattered through scripture the bible tells us that men can gain things but also men can lose things is that true we see that people lost things even believers lost things in scripture for instance Saul, the son of kish they lost their donkey the father's donkey and they went looking for it jesus himself in giving his parable helping them understand the system of the kingdom spoke about the parable of the lost coin so we know that it is not unusual for things to be missing it is not unusual for us to lose things but then the bible gives us another interesting angle to it that men can lose things but men can lose time the loss of time according to scripture is truly what we call loss if you lose things you can get it back but when you lose time because destiny is measured in time write it down the unit of destiny is time that means whatever you give your time to you give part of your life to whatever takes your time has taken a part of your destiny are we together now the unit of destiny is time and so there are times you can lose things sadly after the pandemic or during the pandemic many people lost money many people lost jobs many people lost businesses so we know that men can lose things but it is more deadly when you lose time when you meet a dying man and ask him what is your greatest desire he will not say more houses he will not say more land the greatest request of a dying man is more time isaiah 38 the bible lets us know that hezekiah was sick unto death and isaiah came to him and said put your house in order god has brought a word you will not recover from this sickness the bible says isaiah turned his face to the wall and his prayer was a request of time time from the human standpoint 
is irredeemable when it passes it doesn't go back it only goes forward and that means whatever can eat up your time has taken a part of your destiny so when the bible says i will restore the years you need to understand the gravity of that miracle restore years how do you restore years when a man gets born again at 40 respectfully speaking and at 50 yes he's done well to get born again but in truth as far as destiny and impact and fulfillment of life is concerned time is gone you will need to introduce this system of advantage in your life is that true yeah. restoration is a very powerful mystery to restore means to take a person or to take a thing to its original position where it would have been if there were no constraint listen carefully there is a difference between restoration and progress let me have two people can i have two gentlemen two well-dressed gentlemen please come let me use you for an example just two and that's fine we have this one more person watch this now i like to teach illustratively so that you will understand now this is what i want you to do walk together all right walk slowly now these guys are at the same pace in life and destiny are, are we together now they are going to walk towards me but along as they walk i'm going to make one of them to be delayed and then eventually i'll ask him to start coming i want to show you the difference between progress and restoration are we together now walk gently gentlemen so born on the same day and now for whatever reason stop moving can you see this is where he would have been so he's behind now now keep moving this is progress not restoration because he will never still catch up now let me show you what restoration is when god picks him and brings him here do you understand that now so that when you look at his life you cannot find the gap that delay created again i prophesy to you again in the name of jesus christ everything that has represented delay in your life here at this conference may my god push you forward in the name of jesus christ thank you please sit down please sit down so it is true that we can lose things the concept of losses is a concept that we do not want to hear anything about not in business not in, nobody wants to lose losing is dangerous no one wants to lose a loved one no one wants to lose money no one wants to lose honor no one wants to lose respect no one wants to lose your valuable why do we protect our cars why do we protect our homes because we hate losses let's discuss the subject of losses for a while is god helping someone there are five reasons why people lose in life remember we're teaching on advancement but we have to deal with the subject of delay and retrogression there are five reasons from scripture why men lose number one very quickly the first reason why people lose in life is because of lack of discernment write it down please the lack of discernment lack of discernment can cause you to lose hebrews chapter 2 and verse 1 we'll walk through a few scriptures hebrews chapter 2 and verse 1 the bible says therefore we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard lest at any time we should let them sleep remember jesus was giving us the parable of the sower is that true and he said the seed is the word of god the soil being the hearts of men and he said for all the soils seeds were sown but satan came immediately and he caused losses and for those that satan came they were the ones who did not pay attention to produce understanding from their hearing genesis chapter 28 and verse 16 very interesting rendition 
this just a background for that scripture very quickly this was jacob remember the bible tells us that jacob came to a place called loss and he laid a stone for to sleep in the night are we bible students and then the bible says while he slept he saw a ladder he had a dream and he saw a ladder that connected the earth and the heavens angels were ascending and descending but do you know none of them were coming to him they were moving close to him taking messages to those who were calling them and he was there and never partook of that angelic activity and when he woke up verse 16 please he made a very instructive statement he said surely the lord is in this place and i knew not i did not discern that i was not just lying down on a floor that there was an altar here my father had a covenant with god i came close to the place of covenant it would have blessed me it would have lifted me but lack of discernment did you know that one of the highest indices according to scripture that measures maturity is the ability to discern strong meats the bible says are for them who are of full age is that true who by reason of use have exercised their senses to discern discernment is powerful the faculty of perception this comes through prayer this comes through study of scripture this comes through exposing yourself to the atmosphere of the holy spirit in these end times you need discernment if you do not want to lose your bishopric to lose your destiny it takes discernment are we still together the first reason why people lose we are dealing with the mystery of restoration lack of discernment number two the second reason why people lose in this kingdom is carelessness 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 is the second reason why we lose revelation chapter 3 please and verse 11 revelations 3 and verse 11 it says behold i come quickly hold that fast which thou hast that no man take thy crown you can lose your crown hebrews chapter 2 and verse 3 hebrews 2 and verse 3 please give it to us hebrews 2 and verse 3 the bible says how shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation negligence carelessness many people have lost precious things because of carelessness they have lost valuable destiny relationships they have lost opportunities for instance how many young people had the opportunity they heard that a job offer was there at a platter of gold their uncle said send your cv and they carelessly assumed that the job will always be there carelessness is dangerous we must obtain grace tonight to fight carelessness like you fight the devil you can lose things you can lose years because of carelessness number three are we still together the third reason for losses in this kingdom is called ignorance of the laws of life ignorance of the laws of life comma the laws of destiny and the laws of the kingdom ignorance of the laws of life the laws of destiny and the laws of the kingdom psalm 82 and verse 5 listen this world operates by laws there are laws of life there are laws of destiny there are laws of the kingdom your ignorance of those laws can cost you so many things including your life let me give you an instance someone can decide right now to end his life by going to stand in front of a moving train is that true he violated the laws of life someone can be part of a bad relationship that leads him into destroying a precious destiny that's violating the laws of destiny but there are people who can give themselves over through ignorance and the devil can take advantage of them and destroy and waste their lives ignorance listen this is a kingdom that operates by light it takes spiritual illumination high level illumination 
Psalms 82 and verse 5 the Bible says they know not neither will they understand it says they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course the next verse says I have said ye are gods and all of you not some are children of the most high the tragedy is in the next verse but ye shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes ignorance is costly we must contend for light we must contend for spiritual illumination is that true it was this passion for light to supply spiritual intelligence to the body that made Paul to make that statement he made in Ephesians chapter 3 please give us Ephesians chapter 3 from verse 2 and 3 then we'll jump to 9 and 10 2 and 3 if ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which is given me for your sake now to you word how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery as I wrote afore in few words now when you go to verse 9 he was granted grace what is the grace the grace is to make all men see to open the eyes of men take away ignorance and verse 10 is the reason to the intent that now to the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God dominion is the resultant effect of the comprehension of the principles of the kingdom dominion is not an impartation there is no anointing in scripture for dominion dominion is the resultant effect of your comprehending the ways of God we have beautiful media people here doing an excellent job of coverage while I teach they are operating by knowledge not their size not their gender it is the level of illumination they have as far as this activity is concerned we must contend for mastery and fight ignorance like we fight the devil are we together number four is God helping us we're discussing losses because when you want to make advancement advancement happens in the absence of situations that retrogress or impede you to the degree to which that impedance is taken away that is the degree to which it can be said you are advancing number four the fourth reason for losses is abuse and misuse the fourth reason why people lose is abuse and misuse matthew chapter 25 from verse 14 jesus is teaching now and he's teaching about what we have come to know as the parable of the talent follow carefully for the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country it says who called his own servants and delivered unto them goods so he gave them something and unto one he gave five talents to another two to another one the bible says to every man according to his ability not according to his love for them at the end of this parable you see he was correct for that allocation 17 the bible says let's go back to 16 25 verse 16 25 verse 16 help us media we're still discussing the parable then he that had received the five talents he went and traded with the same and he made them other five talents and likewise he that had received two he gained also two the tragedy now 18 but he that received one went and did what dig the earth and hid his lot's money you bury seeds not talents talents are not for the ground talents are for multiplication you sow seeds the earth is for seeds not for talents and yet this man took something that was supposed to be you were supposed to do business with it abuse and misuse is one of the reasons why people lose when the owner of the talents came back to demand accountability 
in his arrogance he said i know you are a hard man you like to reap where you do not sow and so i thought to do you a favor i buried it here is your one talent and he called him a wicked and unprofitable servant he took that one talent and he gave it to the one who had proven faithfulness in stewardship the bible says moreover it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful are we still together tonight abuse and misuse it was dr miles munro of blessed memory who said when the purpose of a thing is not known he said that the abuse of it is inevitable the word abuse is an abbreviation for abnormal use when a thing is not used within the boundary of its purpose is called abuse are we together so a quick recap before i mention the last point the reasons for losses in life number one lack of discernment number two carelessness number three ignorance of the loss of life the loss of destiny the loss of the kingdom number four abuse and misuse number five tests and trials the fifth reason according to scripture why men lose it can be it may be because of tests and trials job chapter one please from verse nine the bible clearly gives us a a biblical rendition of the life of this man called job the bible testifies that he was a man who feared god and eschewed evil please give us verse 9 follow carefully as i read then satan answered the lord and said does job fear god for nothing hast thou not made a hedge about him and about his house and about all that he had on every side hast thou not blessed the work of his hands my god so satan can give this kind of testimony about a man satan is testifying before god that i came close to a man and i found that man so fortified both him his house and his endeavor next verse now put forth your hand and touch all that he hath, and he will curse you to the face the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he hath is in thy power. Only upon himself put not forth your hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. Sin 2. Tragedy strikes on earth now. And there was a day. May that day never come to your life. But for this man there was a day. When his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. That means they were responsible children. The elder brother was already established and something happened there came a messenger unto job and said the oxen were plowing the asses feeding besides them be patient and the sabians fell upon them and took them away yea they have slain the servants with the edge of the sword and i only am escaped to tell you imagine this kind of news next verse while he was yet speaking there came another and said the fire of god is fallen from heaven and had burned up the sheep the servants consumed them and i only am escaped to, to tell you while he was yet speaking my god there came another and said the chaldeans made out three bands and fell upon your camels they have carried them away yea and slain the servants with the edge of the sword and i only am escaped to tell you as though that was over he was yet speaking there came another and said this one is not just animals again now your sons and your daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house and behold there came a great wind from the wilderness and smote the four corners of the house and it fell upon the young men and they are dead and i am escaped alone to tell you two more verses then job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and worshiped and worshiped after such a news next verse please we're finishing at 22 
and said naked came i out of my mother's womb and naked shall i return thither the lord gave and the lord had taken away blessed be the name of the lord 22 hallelujah and in all this job sinned not nor charged god foolishly listen to me there are times in your life and my life i know this is not a popular message but there are times that events can happen around your life to the end that the worship of things and your connection to things be broken god's obsession is not to take away things from us he desires that we prosper but there is a problem when those you see the thing with things is that they also want to be lords so when they come to your life they don't remain where you kept them they also begin their manifesto in your life to ascend to a point where they take god's throne there is a system for managing those things god enthrones himself in your life by withdrawing from your life everything that tries to be him so if it is your intelligence if it is your uncle your connection there are people who come to church and while they are saying understand faith they are laughing but they don't really care because there is an uncle who had given them assurance whenever you are ready you come and just when you are ready the uncle relocates to Canada let me tell you what happens to you when you come for service under that condition whether there's praise worship or not you will lie down on the ground that's the real day you will start learning faith because at that point now you have been forced the human spirit is stubborn it does not easily bow to the lordship of Christ not in the presence of things not in the presence of many the Bible says it this way Apostle John was teaching us in his epistles he says love not the world neither the things that are in the world the word love there is the Greek word eros is an affinity an ungodly affinity that can affect your relationship with God there is a jealousy dimension of God that will not share accommodation with every other thing he created it's an exclusive position so whilst he blesses you with prosperity increase fame anointing whatever it is he doesn't have a problem with you having those things but there is a side effect to men who have not been worked upon by god it does not mean you are bad it's a weakness in humans you must pass through a season in the spirit where god steps back and allow those things that have attempted to be savior and lord and el shaddai you see the futility of them outside of the influence of God the end is not to destroy you see when you are passing through this season with God it looks like he's nonchalant over the things you are losing he's concentrating on your training because when you do learn restoration is still possible so while you are saying God are you not seeing what is leaving me he's saying in my world not there's no such thing as something living I am working on you there are people who stand and brag based on their certificates based on their uncles their aunties did your bible not say some will trust in horses it says some trust in chariots but we we who have been cultured to understand we trust in the name that anything minus the name of the lord is a disaster it's only a matter of time a man can vow and say come and meet me tomorrow and get a contract and between that night till the next day and Ahitophel comes to him and gives him a counsel and by the next day he says I can't remember telling you such a thing listen believers it is true that there are times that tests and trials can cause us to lose things albeit temporarily James chapter 1 Apostle James was teaching us from verse 2 are we still learning James James chapter 1 Apostle James is teaching us he said my brethren so he's talking to believers in Christ he's not talking to the heathen my brethren count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations support your confidence with this revelation knowing this there is something you need to know that gives you confidence in the midst of plenty and in the midst of nothing
there is something in the school of the spirit called the cave of adulam that is where great men are made there are certain times in this life some prayers you cannot pray some things away you can only pray for grace to pass through it run away from people without scars they have jumped the school of the spirit paul said let no man trouble me i'm speaking to some of you because hear me your loss is not because of carelessness uh -uh. there is the making of a man of god there is a making of an intercessor there is a making of a kingdom financier not every loss is demonic the training of champions is hard god called you to be a kingdom financier and gave you an instruction to carry all your money and bring to church you brought the money and sold and told by the next day the heavens will open and for one year you are now living from hand to mouth he does not hate you he's teaching you faith there will be a recompense so that you can stand holding an account with one billion and yet it's not in your heart jesus is still lord that is the morale of the training can i tell you this i came here sensing in my heart that within your region there are people who have lost things and even lost time there are people as soon as you finish school you wanted to get a job like every other person god says stay back and everybody's moving forward and even you you don't know the name of what you are doing with god god what are you doing with me can i tell you this you must understand that when god is silent his silence is a language every time god is silent he's saying you are in the school of the spirit don't be embarrassed you will cry it's true you've often heard people i hope god is blessing you tonight there are fathers of faith here veterans of the gospel your fathers in the land you ask them they will tell you their journeys they will tell you they will there, there as a man of god there are times you will be going through things yourself you will counsel others and you will receive a word for them but for you a word does not come and yet god will demand obedience and compliance you pray for someone and there is an open door but there are bills waiting for you and you are saying god i'm serving you faithfully i'm teaching you what the silence of god is saying you are in a school while you are crying heaven is clapping and saying don't give up because the bible says let us not be weary in well-doing it says for we will reap well-doing is a seed is god speaking to us there are various reasons can i tell you this <laughs> blessed be the name of the lord in genesis chapter 40 don't turn there just write it for reference the bible talks of a prison look up please joseph and the wine presser and the baker met in one place the name of that place is the prison the prison is where both good and bad people meet don't judge everybody in the prison they are there for various reasons there are some who are there because they defaulted but there are some who are there because they are being made to become saviors the prison is where both good and bad meet the cross is where both jesus and the thieves meet be careful when you judge people while they are going through seasons you do not know the reason why they are going through it are we together in that same prison there was joseph the righteous there was the wine presser the butler the defaulters they were all there the way to the throne is the cross the way to sit over egypt is to pass through the prison let me speak to you many of you admire greatness you admire great people i want to tell you there is a mystery that not many of them will tell you sincerely look beyond the crowns and the glamour there are scars that are testaments of endurance they lost to gain if you want to gain in this kingdom you must be prepared to lose losing is how we gain are we together because you will not appreciate restoration until you understand the idea of losses 
there are people right now who have lost things you lost a job because of your integrity you made up your mind you will not compromise you will not bribe and you lost not every loss is proof that God has left you there are losses that are scars of honor symbols of endurance is God still with us tonight mm. let me give us three keys for restoration and then we'll pray someone's breakthrough is coming now please pay attention keys give us access as big as a door is it's a small key that opens it how many of you have stood before a giant door simply because a key that could enter your pocket was missing you stood before that door helpless as adult and matured as you are a small key was missing and it kept you grounded keys are powerful they can open great doors even ancient doors dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline